An Ohio woman broke down in court after being sentenced to six months in prison. Now, the woman, uh, Angela Baker, who was uh, 43 years old, was convicted of two felony charges of ethnic intimidation. So, now, that's very, very rare that you see anybody get charged, uh, arrested, charged, convicted of ethnic intimidation. Uh, so, now, this happened at uh, a minor grocery store in 2020 where she was shouting racial slurs at black teenagers and then menacing them with her car. In fact, I've got video uh, of this uh, news report from last year. This is CBS affiliate WTOL 11. Take a look. Hey, ma'am, how's it going? Not good. Not good? Yeah, I'm okay? tired of these harassing me. Always walking past my car and all this harassing me. In the car is Angela Baker of Toledo. Oregon police say on Tuesday evening, two African-American males walked to the mire on South Wheeling Street to get some snacks. Baker in her car in the parking lot started to yell racially charged language towards them. So I flip him up and then he starts coming towards me. Okay. So I start my car up and go towards him he runs. Eventually she took her car and she swerved at him, um, which led the, the young African-American males to think that they were going to get hit by her car. Are you kidding me? Nope. Absolutely not. She, when our crews interviewed her, she stated that she didn't have any problem with them other than the color of their skin. And we're not going to put up with that in our community, obviously. Yeah, so. Total racist Karen. I left that last part in with the police officer. Like, well, obviously, she had a problem with them just being black. Just in case that it's not clear that she's racist. Okay, so now that happened last year. Now she got sentenced. So at her sentencing hearing, she got a lecture from Lucas County Judge Lori Olander. So here's what she said. You were driving what the state of Ohio considers a deadly weapon, which is a car. You were in a running car. Those boys were on foot. You could have hit either of those boys, whether you wanted to or not, because you can't always control a deadly weapon. Now, this case is interesting as well because her lawyer uh, argues that, well, no, 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 uh, she's not racist, she's mentally ill. Oh, okay. A lawyer for Baker, Adam Hauser, asked the court to order mental health treatment for the woman who had previously been diagnosed with manic bipolar and had survived domestic violence and homelessness, which the court denied. Prosecutors said that they were sympathetic to Baker's previously uh, previous struggles that does not excuse her conduct. In fact, Prosecutor uh, Khaled uh, Elwer uh, I'm sorry, Elwardani, said this, I'm unaware of any mental health issues that end up in people being racist or doing racist things, such as what happened here. Now, anybody remember Roseanne in the Ambien? Like, oh, Ambien made me say racist things. No, no, that's, that's not, that's not how that works. Medication and mental illness does not make you racist. Now, um, the prosecutor said this as well. I understand that she's gone through some things in her life, but what she put the victim through is totally unwarranted. 100%. Now, look, as I said, having mental illness and going through difficult times doesn't make you racist. You know what makes you a racist? Being racist. Racist, turns out, people who are racist can also go through hard times. Who knew? Who knew? Uh, now, during her sentencing, Baker broke down. Here's what she uh, did, reportedly. On Thursday, according to Toledo Blade, Baker raised her voice, broke down in tears, banged her hands against the table when given the chance to address the judge. Here's what she said, quote unquote, I'm being terrorized. I'm being terrorized. I'm being terrorized. Wow. She's, be she's, she's, the, she's the one being terrorized. Really? Really? Huh. Now, she also added, I wasn't, oh, I'm sorry, before I get to that, 
uh, the, according to the Toledo Blade, the defendant asserted several times on Thursday that she believes that she has been harassed, threatened, and tormented by black people over an extended period of time. I wasn't out to kill them, she says. Okay, yeah, I said a stupid word. Who cares? Well, a lot of people care. Uh, that stupid word has been historically used to terrorize, harass, intimidate, de and dehumanize black people. That's why. That's why it matters. That's why it matters. Uh, now, look. Maybe she had a bad experience with a black person or, or a few. That doesn't mean they're all the same. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, think about it this way. She's, uh, she's obviously racist. Okay, well, if she's racist, does that mean all white people are racist? Does it mean we're all the same? No! No, it turns out people are people. It, it doesn't matter what color you are. It doesn't matter. People get our people. There are good, you know, people who do good things or people who do bad things, et cetera, et cetera. And so, again, the, when you're talking about the kids here, the teenagers who are doing nothing, but like they're out to get some snacks at the local Meyer. And yet, this lady, this crazy lady, pulls up this Karen and she's like, Oh, you N words, always harassing me. And they're like, What are you, what are you talking about? What's, what do you, why, why? And then she almost hit them with their car. So that's horrible. The kids did absolutely nothing to deserve that. Nothing at all. Now the boy's mother, Rebe uh, Rebecca Velasquez, uh, was there. Uh, and here's what she said about this. Quote, this happened a little after George Floyd was murdered. Racism is ignorant and should never exist. The color of your skin should never get you killed hurt or have you frightened let racism die not our people i don't think i could have put it any better than that wonderful wonderful uh, as for kk karen uh it is noted that after she serves her time in prison she will be uh going uh, she'll be put into ohio link which is a transitional program for inmates and given five years of probation so, I mean, I guess as far as that is concerned, obviously the, the lady needs some help, some major help, and also needs to stop being racist. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf, or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.